Brothers and sisters, thank you uh, for joining me today for this um, prophetic message. Um, this morning I woke up and the Lord had told me to read Jeremiah 11. And basically this message is to help people see the patterns of how the Lord works. And over the last um, almost week, he has been having me share about hearing the Lord's voice for yourself. And um, it started with the message that he gave on, have you taken up your cross and followed Christ? And then um, there was the challenge for the seven day fast. Then there was the um, suggestion video of different ideas and how you can hear the Lord's voice. And then this morning, the Lord gave me this. And um, I, I pray that the Holy Spirit may be able to um, convict your hearts and be able to help you understand what the Lord is is speaking um, through the words of Jeremiah. So he told me to read Jeremiah 11, <clears throat> and um, it makes sense why he's been having me do the teachings that I've been doing. And so as I've walked into them with obedience, not knowing um, the bigger picture, that's how the Lord works is he un unravels that bigger picture and he shows it to you. And um, so Jeremiah 11, um, I'm going to read 1 through um, 8, and then um, at the end, and, and to have me break it down, but each of us needs to read this uh, for ourselves with the Lord so that we can clearly understand what he is directly speaking to us. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice. So there's the key. That's what he's been having me teach. And, and the message that he gave on, have you taken up your cross and followed him? Obey my voice. How can we obey Christ's voice if we can't hear it for ourselves? Obey my voice. And do them according to all which um, according to all which I command you. So he will um, give us instruction through his voice, and that's what he will command us through his voice to do things directly um, in our own lives. So shall ye so shall ye be my people, and I will be your God that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. Then answered I and said, So be it, O Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore I will bring up them all the words of this covenant which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. So then I'd like you to go through and read, um, you know, all of it, but nine through, um, through 20. And it talks about, um, because the people will not turn to the Lord, they will not turn away from the, the, the gods of this world, which, you know, when we put someone in place of Christ to teach us or to, um, give us a sermon, all those things, we're putting those people in front of Christ. And that is what Jeremiah 11 is all about. And so because the people would not heed the Lord's voice, um, you know, the people of God are told that we are not even to, we are not to pray for these people because God will not hear our, um, wait a minute, that was another one, um, that when the people then cry out to him, they will not hear their cries. Um, and then in 21, it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord of the men of 
Anathoth, I'm not sure I'm saying that right, um, that seek thy life, saying, Prophesy not in the name of the Lord, that thou die not by our hand. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword, their sons and daughters shall die by famine, and there shall be no remnant of them. For I will bring evil upon the men of Anath, even the, even the year of their visitation. So that is something that he's showing me. These people that are proclaiming that the Lord is giving us words to share, the people are saying, no, no, no. Uh, the Lord doesn't speak to us. You know, you can't hear that from the Lord. And that's what 21 is talking about is that the people say, you, you can come prophesy to us or we can go into your, your congregations and you can give us a really good sermon, but just don't prophesy in the name of the Lord. Don't say that the Lord is sharing this with you. Um, so brothers and sisters, I hope that we can see the urgency of what the Lord is trying the, to get across to the people. And it's so important that we are hearing his voice for ourselves. So I encourage you to read Jeremiah 11 with the Lord, take all things before him, allow the Holy Spirit to guide and direct you. And I hope that this gives greater clarity of what the Lord is doing and how, um, if we just step forward in obedience, even if we don't understand why, um, we're being asked to do something, the Lord will bring it all into fulfillment and we will have an understanding but it takes that faith and obedience of walking forward in that blind faith not understanding ahead of time so may we heed the words of jeremiah 11 the under the importance of the covenant that the lord made with our fathers before us that if we would obey his voice um that we would um, be given unto them a land flowing with milk and honey so God bless and have an amazing day.